All right, folks, this is week two of Pokemon Draft League, the Amber Craig Excadrills against the Alluvia Stars. You can see my team on the right, their team is on the left. I'm not going to get too into the, the team rundown because we've disconnected a couple of times and we already know who we're leading with and the first three moves that we're going to go for, so uh, apologies in advance that it's going to look scripted, but we're hoping that we don't get disconnected for a third time. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup. I brought some weird move sets that I think could work. Uh, they're going to lead with Clefable. I'm going to lead with Azelf. And firstly, I'm going to set up Stealth Rock. They're going to Toxic me. Hopefully they don't miss, because that would throw a monkey wrench in the whole scripted plan. Okay, so they do hit. So we're one for one reenacting this. Our Pokemon are now effectively Oscar winning actors. So nextly, I'm going to set up my sand as they go for a moon blast. This was where it DC'd the last time, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule. Hope they don't crit me. Oh, that does about the same that it did the last time, so I'll take sand damage and poison damage. And then I'm going to U-turn out as they wish. And then it should be back to battling as usual. So this was effectively where it left off after the first DC where we got through three moves. But I'm going to bring in Excadrill now that the sand is up. They're going to wish. And I'm just going to go for a Swords Dance here because Clefable does not threaten Excadrill. Can't Toxic me, Moonblast I don't think would do a lot since I'm part Steel. They might try and switch into a counter, but we'll deal with that when and if it happens. Okay, so they are going to switch, and they bring in v Vaporeon. I was somewhat worried about that, but I don't know that it can knock us out with any one hit. So we get our Swords Dance up. It's chipped a little bit by rocks, gets the Wish. So it's back to full, which is scary. So the question now is, do I get greedy and go for another Swords Dance and then try and Earthquake this thing or just go for two Earthquakes? Because I don't know if I can knock it out from plus four, but oh, screw it. Let's try it. Let's try and get up to plus four. I'm hoping that they don't knock us out with any water move, because if they do, we're kind of... Back to square one here, so they go for Muddy Water. I'm hopeful that we can live, but we do not. So Vaporeon KOs Excadrill with Muddy Water. So that kind of neuters my entire plan that I had going in, which is why you shouldn't bring gimmicky things, but you also shouldn't get greedy. I should have just attacked there, but I don't think it would have mattered because I wouldn't have knocked them out and um, they would have just killed me with muddy water. I didn't see if it was a crit because I was typing, but I don't think it was. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and T-bolt this thing now. Okay, so they are going to switch out. 
into coma O. It's frightening because Thunderbolt's not going to do all that much. Do we get a parallel? Nope. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't want to stay in against this thing. And it might go for a fighting move, so I'm going to go into Mimikyu anticipating a fighting move. Then maybe we can salvage this with Mimikyu. Okay, so they get up Stealth Rocks. So this is good. So we got a, a free switch into Mimikyu, so we can take any hit because of our disguise. So I'm going to Sword Stance up here. They go into Clef. So we get our Swords Dance up. If this is physically defensive, we're going to be in for a rough time. I, again, could potentially just Swords Dance again. And I think I'm going to do that and just get greedy again because even if they go for Moonblast, they can't kill me in one turn. If they go for Toxic, we can just start going crazy and hitting things. Try and knock out as many things as we can before we go down to Toxic Poison, but it's not looking good so far. They're, they're playing this really well. I was worried about Vaporeon. I definitely thought we could have lived at least one hit, because Muddy Water even I don't think is as strong as like Surf or Hydro Pump or Scald, so that was a total miscalculation by yours truly, but... So the sand is now gone. Let's just go for a play rough and see how much we do. Some fairy on fairy crime. Bang, all right, love that. So Mimikyu KOs Clefable with play rough. All right, well, we're at least back to one knockout a piece, but I'm still on the back foot here because my Excadrill strategy blew up in my face. All right, they bring in Fang, the Luxray, takes a little bit of chip from Stealth Rock, gets the Intimidate off. Let's just go for a play rough again. Because we are poisoned, so that's going to rack up pretty quick and knock us out, but we need to just start hitting things while we can. So Play Rough is going to hit, and it is going to knock it out. So Mimikyu KOs Luxray with Play Rough. So we get maybe one more hit before Toxic ruins our day which is hilarious because the disguise hasn't even broken yet. Uh, so they're going to bring in Gengar now, which I'm pretty sure outspeeds Mimikyu naturally, and we don't have any speed boosts. So I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak priority and see if we can just end this thing. Yup. All right, Mimikyu is saving my bacon here. Mimikyu KOs Gengar with Shadow Sneak. And there goes Mimikyu. So Clefable KOs Mimikyu from the grave with Toxic Poison. All right, we've got ourselves a match here. Uh, so they have Vaporeon, Venusaur, and Como-O left. Uh, I'm just going to go into Azelf because it's fast. It goes into Coma O. Neither of us seem to have a way to get rid of hazards, which at least makes it kind of even on both sides. Um, I'm just going to sack this and go for a knockoff, get rid of whatever item this thing has. 
So we do a little bit more chip, knock off King's Rock, and then go for Boom Burst, which is easily going to knock us out. So Como O KOs Azelf with Boom Burst. Um, 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 let's try Ditto. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I guess we can just see it set, and that would be nice. We can always switch Ditto out and maybe transform into Vaporeon or Venusaur later. If we could transform into Venusaur, then we'd be able to take out Vaporeon, but we got to get rid of Venusaur first. Aha, interesting. Okay, so they're like mixed with Stealth Rock. Um, let's go for Dragon Claw just because it's safer and we're not locked in, and I feel like it'll take that out from there. Boom. There we go. So Ditto KOs Como O with Dragon Claw. Man, this is this is a tight match. This is tense. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this, but we shall see. So they have Venusaur and Vaporeon left. We have Heliolisk to deal with Vaporeon, which is nice. Um, the question is, would it go for like an ice move now, potentially? So I'm just going to do the mid-ground play and go to Umbreon. Yeah, so they do go for the ice move. Please don't freeze me. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's just get a wish up because it's safe. So the thing is, if I can take out Venusaur, Heliolisk can deal with Vaporeon no problem, but the issue is... Okay, so they set up Aqua Ring. That's interesting. Alright, I'm just going to foul play to try and see how much chip damage we can get. I don't expect it's going to do much, but... Because I went gimmicky and brought Heliolisk that has Sand Veil to be a little bit shiftier in the sand. Oh, crit there. I'm not going to be able to just sponge water hits. So that actually does a, a fair amount of damage. I'm okay with that. And we're pretty much back up to full with the Wish and Leftovers, leftovers Recovery, but they're getting their own Leftovers Recovery. Uh, let's just go for another Foul Play here. Oh, so they do have Hydro Pump. That's interesting. So they didn't go for it against Excadrill, probably fearing the miss. They do go for it here because it's going to have a little bit more power. I'm going to foul play again, just try and keep chipping this thing down. If they crit me here, that could be bad, but they don't. Foul play, get some down very low. See, I don't know if I should just attack again, hoping that we live this. I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh, we live on nine. What a beast, Umbreon. Oh, and we do take it out. Whew. 
All right, Umbreon KOs Vaporeon with foul play. This is down to the wire. So their last is Venusaur. And if this thing sets up Sun, it might be game over. I'm gonna... Man, this is risky. So I could protect and scout what they're gonna do, or I could wish anticipating them to set up Sun. So I'm gonna wish first, because if they set up Sun... Okay, they don't. They just do the safe play and knock us out. Okay. That's fine. Venusaur KOs Umbreon with Giga Drain. Alright, well, this is insanely close. I'm going to bring in Heliolisk. And just try and hyper voice this thing. Okay, doesn't do nearly as much as I hoped. They're gonna set up the sun here, so they're probably gonna be faster. I don't know if they have anything that can knock us out, because we're not dry skin, so we're not gonna be taking like double damage from Weather Ball. The Giga Drain, it's going to do a lot, and they're going to get health back. So they're nearly back to full after that. So we chip them down below half. Oh, that's interesting. So they set up the sun. I mean, it doesn't matter because they're going to be faster, but uh, Weather Ball is now fire type, so we could try going for that. This is probably going to knock us out. Oh, Sand Veil! <laughs> No, it was the Bright Powder! It was the Bright Powder with the Sand Veil! Oh my goodness, that's so lucky. I think Ditto could have come in and been able to knock it out. Whew! But that was, that was insane. What, what a good match. GG's to the Alluvia Stars. That was, that was so much closer than I was anticipating, but very well done.